Hello guys, welcome back, and in today's video I'm gonna try to answer the question which one do I pull, Voyager or Tooth Fairy? Tooth Fairy or Voyager, right? So this question has been going around for a couple of days now since Voyager banner uh, got released, got announced. It's already here, so if you wanna pull, go ahead. <laughs> but in today's video I'm gonna try and give you all of the information that you might need or you might be missing to make uh, an educated choice on which one you want to pull you need to pull or you want to pull on okay depending on the value of the characters the future proof the account value the value they provide in general their kits what they what they do what's the banners etc okay uh, are they future proof stuff like that before we begin i'm gonna do a big viewer pull showcase or show on my my twitch on um, on the stream on the release of 1.2 it's gonna be on twitch.tv forward slash jackson so go follow if you want to watch or do that and join the Discord in the description if you want to participate. We go, we're going to join um, a room together. You're going to share your screen and I will be reacting to your polls. And then I will pull as well, okay? So it's going to be a lot of fun. If you're interested, you know what to do. Let's move on and get into the video. Now, as I said, it's a little complicated because there's a lot of factors that are kind of personal and vibey. Like, okay... Sure, I might need Voyager, but I like Tooth Fairy, so I'm gonna get Tooth Fairy instead, right? Stuff like that, there, there's, there's that as well. So I'm gonna try to do my best, but keep in mind before you... Actually, uh, I don't need Tooth Fairy, so why do you say that I need Tooth Fairy, right? Do, keep, keep that in mind before you, you, you go type in the comments. I, already, I can already hear the key being pressed. Now, let's start with a rundown of what they do. Tooth Fairy is a star mental healer. She's really, really good. She has a very, very high healing. She can crit on the heals. She can crit on the ult, especially because they have they have plus thirty percent. If you crit on the ult, you get the purification of all uh, statuses on from all allies. Stats down, negative status, and control. Right. So from all allies, this was pretty good. And then you have the debuff, which is confusion plus some damage, which is really big. Confusion can stack, by the way. So you can do minus 25. If you do it again, it's going to be minus 50, right? Critical resist, which is basically critical rate. So she is really, really good. But the best part is the passive, which is the inside baby teeth collector, baby tooth collector. And you gain teeth while people and you, characters and you, play cards. After you get to five, you consume them and you shred the enemy for minus 50% critical defense and critical critical resist which is basically saying critical rate and critical damage for all of your allies on the inside tree you also add a 10 percent recovery of the missing hp and additional two baby teeth when you start the battle which means that you're gonna start with five and immediately shred everybody and at that point then you have to rebuild again so this is a very 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 strong unit and i think at this point and for a very 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 long time even on the future uh, versions of the game the oversee version tooth fairy is basically uh the best healer and the best one of the best if not the best unit in the game right so after the, after saying this, we still have some situations where you don't really need to use Tooth Fairy, okay? And we'll, we'll, we'll check those in just a second. Now, let's move on and check Voyager. Voyager, even though she might not appear that important, because like she's not a limited character, so not everybody has her, and since nobody has her, or like very few people have her, the problem is that you don't really know what she brings, so I, I also haven't made a, 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 guild, a build video, a guide video about her. So, let's go check what she does. She is a mental star support slash DPS. She has a lot of damage on the ult, especially if you get some portrait, but the good part is on the ult is that she has uh, moxie minus two. She has moxie removal on one target, though it's not AoE like X. Uh, she has Moxie minus 2 on the target, and if they're in confu confusion status, she deals 100% more mental damage that will increase with your portrait. Now, moving on, she has Confusion as well, but it's on the level 2 card, so keep that in mind that you're going to have to need some little bit of a, little bit of a tuning waiting or waiting for a copy to fuse it and get the Confusion up, otherwise it's just an attack. But you do have Confusion application, and on top of that, you have some counter plus stardiness card which is really good and you also get two counter stacks on yourself from the level two onward and sturdiness if you don't remember if basically is basically damage taken reductions uh, plus 25 right so that's pretty big 
damage mitigation. So she she's a crazy support. She has a lot of CC. But one of the biggest part of the character comes from the inside, like the fairy. And in this case is the chorus ensemble, which basically says that after you perform three action, which is not exclusive to the to the current turn, you can do it at any point in time. So you can time it and do it whenever you need it. After three actions, you enter chorus ensemble, which is at I1 only quote unquote. Uh, silence application on all enemy. Silence basically says that you cannot use buff, debuffs, heals, or counter uh, spells, right? On the enemy. The enemy can't use those, but they can still attack. So keep that in mind. It is not going to completely silence them from acting at all. They can still uh, attack you directly. But if they want to, if, let's say they have full moxie and they want to ult, if you have I3 and you trigger chorus ensemble now on top of the silence you also gonna give seal to all enemy so they're not gonna be able for one round only but they're not gonna be able to use their ult so you can time it in a good way that way they don't act and they don't do very very bad things to your team okay so now this is the rundown of their kits they're both incredibly good units that's why this video is a little complicated so when, when i'm when i'm talking just Keep that in mind, like, do I need it? Do I need this? Oh, I might need this. Oh, yeah, 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 that would be really good, right? So, now, are they flexible, right? Are they flexible? Yes, they're both flexible, but I would say that Tooth Fairy is a little more flexible because she's more needed, okay? And she doesn't really have a replacement. While Voyager, might not, you might not need all of this CC. Maybe you just need more damage, right? Maybe the, the, the enemy is not giving you a hard time when it comes to damage but it gives you a hard time when it comes to their survivability and maybe then you need to burst them down even more right then sometimes you don't need a cc -er of this magnitude and that's why voyager is a little uh, is a little less flexible but we are talking about high tier anyway so just so you know but tooth fairy is a little more needed because she one she's a healer two she fits everywhere three she makes everybody crit and almost everybody crit, basically. And four, she doesn't really have a replacement. Who is who is it that you can use as a healer that it's stronger than Tooth Fairy or equal value that you would prefer than to, rather than Tooth Fairy, right? Unless you're playing uh, Sotheby and Jessica, which is a, a special exclusive team. At that point, you don't need Tooth Fairy. Even then... Uh, if it's a four man, maybe then you can use, uh, you can put a Tooth Fairy there and use Sotheby just for poison, right? So even then, Tooth Fairy is probably the most, if not the best, one of the most, if not the best, flexible unit, in my opinion. You you can disagree, I don't give a fuck. So to me, she's a very flexible unit. I would literally put a Tooth Fairy everywhere and she would give me value. Even if I don't need to crit and I kind of waste the confusion, she still has mega heals. I still need. I still get the critical resistance, critical defense. Even if I, even if I have Melania with like twenty percent critical uh, rate, I will still be able to crit uh, because of the confusion. I can just do two one, two level one empty gums, and she will have liter literally seventy five percent critical rate, which is basically good enough, right? So sure, you can get blasted by RNG sometimes, but you do ask, you do whatever, you, you press the thing, open the menu, restart, right? Our RNG can fuck you up anyway, so it doesn't matter when uh, you get it bad. So just redo it, right? If you get in that case. So the value is very high. They're both flexible. But now let's go check the banners. Now the banners here, it's a little more black and white because I've, I'm pretty sure uh, that Voyager has the worst banner here. Because Voyager has Balloon Party, which is a good healer, sure. and But also gives you X. X is not a very used unit because there's a lot of uh, replacements. Uh, sure, it gives you mox removal as well. Voyager does the same, so it's kind of redundant, right? Like, what the what the hell? Why why am I getting X if I'm getting Voyager? Like, if you're getting Voyager and you use because you use Voyager or you want Voyager for your teams, then you it, most likely you're not gonna use X, right? So this is a wasted slot for a unit i don't understand why they keep giving us like x or click i understand there are people that like them but the value of the banner which i'm talking about i'm not talking about the character being shit they're not i'm talking about the value of the of the banner it's way worse way lower even though balloon party is fine 
uh, it's way lower than the Tooth Fairy. Now, I don't have the big picture for Tooth Fairy, but we can check this. She uh, She's going to come with Beacon Bloom and Blonnie. Now, this is basically a team. They're giving you a team, basically. So it's very important to keep in mind that everything that you're getting here is big value. Beacon Bloom, huge uh, support DPS. Blonnie, really decent, big, kind of big, especially with Tooth Fairy. Big <laughs> DPS, star DPS. She wants to crit and she has crit rate and crit damage inside her card. So that's pretty good. Also, basically, and you also get Tooth Fairy. So by pulling on this banner, uh, let's assume you get one of each five star. You are basically given a, a functional team because the uh, Blonnie is reality. So she also... Uh, likes the, the buffs and debuffs that Big on Bloom gives, right? So, this is a insane banner, especially if you are missing a star DPS or a star unit that does damage. If you don't have Charlie or Lilia or Regulus, then Blonny, you can use Blonny, she comes in clutch, and she's gonna work very well. So, this banner value is insane. Now, let's answer the, are they future proof? Are they future proof? Yes, they are. They're pretty much both future-proofed, so this is not really a point where you can say like, Aha! Aha! Tooth Fairy is more future-proof than Voyager. No, they're both uh, future-proof. Of course, Voyager is going to be at the top, but Voyager is basically like top five, right? So it doesn't really matter. They're, they're both future-proof. Like, there's a lot of uh, value. They, they have so much value that it's really hard to replace them. The only thing would be that Voyager is replaced by Shamane, or, or Shamane sometimes and maybe six in some scenarios, right? So sometimes there are some places where you go like, oh, well, I'd rather, I'd rather use Shamane or, or I'd rather use X uh, or no X, six, right? So in that case, she loses a little bit of future proof. She, get, she got power crept a little bit, like a pixel. So keep that in mind. But even then, if you're not going for those characters for you, it doesn't matter. Right? Because she's still, even on the on the current tier list for 1.5, current, like yesterday's tier list, she is still like top five. Well, not top five, but like tier, like Tooth Fairy is tier zero and she's like tier one, tier 1.5, depending on the, like if it's Limbo or not. Because this time Limbo is like star again, so on, on 1.5. So I believe it's star again, I'm not sure. So all of the star are bumped up, but global, she's still up there. Even on main's bulletin, 1.4, she was like top six or something, right? So keep that in mind, it's not that big of a deal. Now, do you need one of these characters? When do you need Voyager? You need Voyager if you don't have any supporter unit, you have all of the healers, so you don't need Tooth Fairy, right? Uh, and you have, let's say, Sotheby, you wanna go for Changeling, but are you, are you are you wondering if you need Tooth Fairy or Voyager? Personally, I will go for Tooth Fairy, but even in that case, uh, you might want to skip Tooth Fairy and get Voyager instead, right? Because if you don't have a lot of units that give you buffs or debuffs or confusion or, or, or CC in general, if you don't have any, if you only have like Sonetto, let's say, right? If you don't have Beacon Bloom, if you don't have Baby Blue, if you don't have Diggers, any, any of those, then Voyager is a really good unit, especially if you like her, but that's like up to you at that point, it's personal. So if you are missing, you want a lot of CC in your account, so that way when you need it, then boom, and you get it. Otherwise, I think Tooth Fairy is, um, is a higher value for your account, unless you have every healer. When do you want Tooth Fairy? You want Tooth Fairy if you need to enable someone to crit, or if you want to help someone to crit more or harder, for example, Regulus. Also Lilia, but Lilia overcaps crit and she doesn't do anything with the overcapping critical rate, so that's a lot of uh, value wasted. So for now, Lilia always gonna fall down and down and down and down and down in the future uh, because she can't capitalize on the overflowing critical rate, sadly. So that's a problem, but she still works wonders with Tooth Fairy. She's gonna make her go 100% critical rate, so at least you can guarantee those um, those uh, follow-up attacks. Regulus is the one that is gonna benefit the most from Tooth Fairy uh, because she converts. So she's gonna have a lot of critical damage at that point, and you are probably gonna see a lot of videos of people like exploding shit with uh, with, Tooth Fairy, with Tooth Fairy and Regulus. Okay, so if you need a healer or you need a healer and 
you want all of these um, this critical application and shred and enabling and you also want a purification and big big healing then tooth fairy is for you okay that said i think that's it i don't want to say too much because like you, you can go here and what and look at their kit again and think but this th these are my opinions and also gave you the information on for the future so use this information to understand which one you like the most even then even if your account technically needs only voyager but you still want to go for tooth fairy go for it don't you don't have to to worry about it right it does you don't have to always be cold and like math or yeah the math says that i need to get this character so i get this character it's fine you will be fine e e either way right because if you have any healers as long as long as you heal you have no problem so that's it thank you for watching see you next time